30 miles off Alaska's southern coast sits Kodiak Island, a brutal 3,500 square mile gauntlet of nature's deadliest elements. Among them, an apex predator like no other, the Kodiak brown bear. The largest bears in the world come from Kodiak Island. I have helped a lot of people over the years fulfill a dream of taking a brown bear on Kodiak Island. We're gonna cruise the coast and watching off the beach here and looking at the hillsides. Mike Horstman's a 40-year veteran of the hunt who's claimed more than 30 bears in his lifetime. His experience reading the land and finding the bears makes Mike one of the most sought after bear hunters on the island. The places that I'm gonna hunt, there's consistent wind direction, which makes it a good place to, to find a bear and stalk it. The five week limited hunt is Mike's bread and butter. Today, he's leading the charge for Tim Wiestefeld, an avid hunter who's traveled all the way from Texas. I've always wanted to come to Kodiak Island and harvest one of the beautiful brown bears. And this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. We're gonna move up on the hill so we can glass, but pay attention when we travel up through here. The hunt is designed to help keep the bear population healthy. So Mike's hunters are only allowed to target the most aggressive males. A large boar could kill three, four cubs in a year's time easily. I've seen places where in less than a half mile stretch of river, a big old boar had killed sows, cubs, protecting their fishing hole. So if we take one large boar, we save the lives of a half a dozen bears for sure. The differences between male and female bears are so subtle that it takes an expert eye to identify a boar from a distance. The ears will be off on the side of the head rather than on top. And a big old bear moves slow. They'll like strut. Yeah, they'll, they'll swagger and walk with authority. Mike's strategy is to stake out the coastal areas where bears come to look for fish washing up from the bay. All right, Tim, I've got one right down here below us. Can you see him down here? Yeah, I see him. And he's got that swagger. This is gonna be a good bear. But let's get our stuff and move off the hill here and, and see if we can get on this one. Closing the gap on the boar they spotted means a two mile trek through Kodiak Island's densest bear country. Being down in the creek bottoms, the hills are on both sides. You have no idea if the bear's gonna come charging at you. He could be right anywhere. To hunt with a client that you've never hunted with before is kind of unique in that it's very important that the client listens to me and that can make all the difference between getting a bear or from getting killed and eaten. Wait. What do you hear? What do you hear? Here's some. Pay attention. There's a bear here. The high grass and brush make it impossible to see what may be coming for you. At this point, we're just gonna continue on down to the beach, see if we can't find the bear before the bear sees us. Right there. Right there. He's right here. He's right here. Here we go. Get on him. Wait till he stops walking. Wait, wait, he went back to the right. Come on, come with me. Stay close to me. You see him? Yeah. Be ready to shoot. Take him, take him now. You hit him, he's down. That's it, let's go get him. We're still loaded and ready, watching the bear. You want to be paying attention, or you could get surprised. Well, this one's down. There's no question it's dead. Oh, wow. Looks like a good-looking bear. Beautiful bear. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Great job, Mike. Thank you. you. Bet. All right, let's get it up out of here. It's a clean kill of an 800-pound boar, but the shot is only half the battle. Preserving the hide requires the skill of an expert. 
doing it quickly requires a master. Tim, if you could hold this foot. Every second they spend on the beach leaves them exposed. Once the hide is cut, the scent will attract any other bears lurking in the area. We're out in the open, so we're gonna get the hide, we're gonna get it in the pack, and we're gonna get out of here. What we're gonna do from the chin all the way down to the butt, out the hind legs, and then we'll roll it up, put it in the boat, take it back to camp. How good of a bear is this compared to what you've seen here on the island? This bear probably weighs about 750 pounds, 800 pounds. It's not the biggest bear in the world, but you should be very proud of this. All right, Tim, we got it, we're done. Thank you, Mike. You betcha. Helping Tim make this happen is the reason uh, that I do what I do. Not everybody gets to do this, and I live out here on the edge of the world just simply for a day like today.